is Jessica Abramson. I'm with the Pink Moon Festival. I'm from Rack Camp, West Virginia in Monroe County, which is also affected by the Mountain Valley Pipeline. We're throwing this event this evening, Fractose Intolerant. This is gonna be a series of events. So we're gonna take this event and uh, try to hold it in each of the counties that are along the pipeline corridor. We're really trying to reach out to the millennial generation and get information about the Mountain Valley Pipeline Project out to people in our age group to try to get them invested and excited about fighting this thing. We're hoping to pack the house with Virginia Tech students and um, members of the Blacksburg community and really get the word out about this pipeline project to people who had not yet heard about it. And not allowing corporations to make a bunch of money off of something that's ultimately just gonna hurt us. Over here we have Preserve the NRV, Preserve Montgomery County, Citizens Preserving Floyd County, and all of them have their no pipeline signs, no pipeline badges, and uh, some information that we're handing out. And then at a table over there, we have a bunch of pre-written letters to FERC and to local representatives, to the governor of Virginia. So we're gonna be asking people to sign those letters and if they're interested, write letters of their own. Um, we also have a, a petition that we're signing. My expectations is that they walk away not only having a good time, but feeling passionate about this movement as much as we are, or at least knowing that there are people who really care about this issue and we're doing whatever we can to fight this. So I want them to take away information, passion, and a good time. I just hope that we can establish a common paradigm amongst people. We really are just trying to push awareness because at the end of the day, we have power in numbers. The more people we have on this same paradigm, this same mindset, to realize what can happen if we allow these pipelines to go in, if we allow fracking, if we allow things of this nature, you know, it's, it's really just awareness. If you are interested in getting involved, you should contact the Environmental Coalition at Virginia Tech. Or Students for Clean Energy, also at Virginia Tech. There's no demand as far as natural gas in Virginia. The, it, it's going to be an interstate pipeline, so it's not even going to come to local communities. There's environmental risk. It's not needed right now. We need, to, we need to fight this pipeline. And you guys are the future, and it is really up to you to deal with this. Because that's the reality. I'm so sorry that my generation has bequeathed you this horror. Sign the petition. I guess the pipeline. Let's go. Boom. Renewable energy is good, non-renewable is bad. Oh, 